So, today I'm going to bake, I know you can't see my face, but I'm going to bake my 560 Ti. It's about four years old. Friend got it when it came out, sold it to me. It's been working pretty much every day since then. So now it's it started not working. It's got fragments. No, they're called artifacts on the screen. Little yellow lines. Card doesn't really work. Games cause the game that cause the, the card to crash. Windows, everything dies. It's a problem. So this card's dead. What we're doing is we're bringing it back to life. Some people called me mad. Said it was impossible. Look where I am today. First, you need to remove the screws. Put a whole bunch on the back. Prove to you that I am not mad. It's actually really hard to remove these screws. Especially if you twist the wrong way. You don't want to lose these. Put them in a ball. Don't know what I just unscrewed. Because from the YouTube tutorial I watched, all they do is unscrew one thing. This thing's still screwed on. Alright. Wow. That was a lot quicker than I expected. I ended up taking out random screws on the cooling system that should never have been taken out. That was my mistake. But if you look here, it's a bunch of heat sinks um, connected to a, a fan, two fans, which shouldn't have been removed, but they have been. This little connecting cable. Don't know what this is. Thermal paste that needs to be washed off and reapplied. With this thermal compound kit, uh, I'm a professional. I'm not actually a professional. First time ever doing this. This is what the graphics card looks like. Uh, still think I need to take this off. Don't know how that's gonna work. Cause all this stuff is pretty, pretty far in here. I really hope this doesn't melt. So basically at this point, the uh, video went corrupt and I lost all the audio. So I'm just going to explain. Um, what I have to do now is remove the thermal paste. So you need rubbing alcohol, which I, I don't have. But I, I do have alternatives. Um, in the sense, in, in the form of actual alcohol. Um, some whiskey. <laughs> it was the, the, the purest alcohol I had. All, the rest was all wine and... Uh, I, I wouldn't really want to do this with wine. So, you know, chose some, some gold label. When wh while we were using gold label, I thought, you know, wh why stop at gold label? Why not, you know, accessorize, get a bit of ice, um, in a crystal glass. You know, why not? If, you, if, if not, why not? So I thought that might be uh, a good choice, which it wasn't. Um, I, I really don't like whiskey. So then I take my my rubbing alcohol uh, that I'm I've poured into this fancy glass with ice, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to put it onto a, a Q-tip, right? Because now I can use this to rub off the thermal paste, and th this worked surprisingly well for how how ghetto it's been so far. And yeah, it, it got all cleaned off. And there's some dust on the graphics card, but that, that's nothing, nothing serious. Now, for the next step, putting it in the oven. So as you can see, oven's been preheated. Not just messed off. Definitely preheated. So, take this. Ooh. Spooky, spooky, spooky. I really hope this works. Put it on four. And no, not eleven, ten. Boom. And once that thing goes beep, 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 it means that um, I potentially ruined the graphics card, or I made one work. It's, it's shouting at me. So definitely smells baked. Um, let me get something to pick this up because uh, I'm never burning my hands again. Can't wait to dig in. Well. Hope 
hope you guys are excited as I am. Put it back into the into the case. And it works. Are you ready for a miracle? Are you ready for a miracle? Are you ready? 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 Are you ready